Good morning and welcome to day three of Vlogist. I hope you're enjoying Mediterranean Lifestyle Month. We've been making lots of vegetable based dishes so far and I think tonight we're going to make a very simple meal of chicken and potatoes and it's an old recipe that my father remembers that my grandmother used to make for him when he was little. So it's really special but it's really simple and tasty. I hope you enjoy it so come along for the day. leftover cooked cauliflower we have from last night and we're going to make an omelet out of it for breakfast so it's going to be a cauliflower omelet. Eggs cook so quickly we just kind of scramble them up like when they get a little brown like that. We're going to eat them on a little roll. For lunch today we're mixing up some tuna salad. I always buy the tuna in olive oil because I think it has a better flavor and I'm going to make an open-faced sandwich on some Italian bread that we got from the bakery. When you buy tuna, always look at the ingredients because if you see this it says ingredients, white tuna, extra virgin olive oil, sea salt. Not all tuna is always tuna. Sometimes it has soy in the ingredients listing, so be careful of what you're purchasing. Always look at the ingredients. I love this Italian bread from the bakery. It's nice long pieces, it's very dense, it has such a good flavor. We mix up this tuna with a little vegan eggs and some shallot. two rusted potatoes and now I'm cutting them into coins about half a centimeter thick. I put two chicken breasts in this Pyrex dish. I'm salting them and then we're going to arrange the potatoes all around them. So just fit these potatoes in wherever you can. It's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle and it's fun. Now I'm going to salt this. Make sure that you salt your potatoes generously because potatoes need a lot of salt or else they can taste metallic. And then we're going to cover everything with dried oregano. And I mean everything. You'll see. Now I know that looks like a lot of oregano, <laughs> but it cooks up deliciously. Now you have to use bone in chicken breast when you make a meal like this. So my mother used to make it with thighs, but I don't really like thighs. So if you're going to use thighs, you want to cover this now with foil and put a couple of vents in it in the top of it. And then bake it in an oven around 350 for 45 minutes covered and then take the foil off and then cook it for another 15 minutes uncovered. But because I have these ginormous breasts here, I'm going to cook it for a full hour covered at 385. And then I'm going to uncover it and see how it looks. And then you always want to do another 15 minutes just to make it crispy on top. And make sure, I'm going to pour a little water in around here. Uh, just before I put it in the oven. Make sure you check it once in a while so that it doesn't dry out because the chicken will make juice but you want to make sure that it doesn't completely dry out because you need the liquid to cook the potatoes. I forgot to mention that you need to drizzle a little olive oil over these potatoes.
and now I'm going to cover it again. Put this broccoli rug at the Italian bakery because I also have a little deli there. And I bought it before, you can eat it as a salad or you can heat it up and it's broccoli rog with some red pepper flakes and some garlic and it's really good. joining me. I hope you enjoyed tonight's recipe. I love finding old family recipes. It's something that was from my father's childhood and I love knowing that it got passed down to me. And when you have a chicken in the oven, the house just smells so warm and comforting. It's just very comfort food. <laughs> I hope you join me tomorrow and I'll uh, see what we get up to then. <laughs>